I am Anil Kumar. Let us now understand how to find equation of transformed exponential function from the given graph. So in this example, we are given graph of an exponential function. We need to write its equation in the form f of x equals to a times b to the power of x minus p plus c. How do we do that? So for that, we have to identify key points. That is the first step, right? Identify key points and then work with the equation to find the transformed function. So key points are, first always look for horizontal asymptote. That gives you the value of c. And then we should look for y-intercept. That is one of the most essential key point to look into. And then we should look for a point which is one unit away from y-intercept. So at x equals to 1 or some good point to look for. So that calculations can be made and you can get the right equation. Horizontal asymptote. So what we can see here is that the horizontal asymptote for us is at y equals to 2, right? So we can write down that horizontal asymptote is y equals to 2. As far as y-intercept is concerned, the value here is 0, 4. And a critical point will be at 1, we see that the value of the function is 9. So this is a good point to take. At 1, we have 9. So, so this point is x is 1, y value is 9. These will help us to find equation of this transformed function, right? So let us assume that there is no horizontal stretch or compression and we'll consider everything as a vertical stretch or compression. So our assumption here is that P is equal to zero, right? Now from this, we can write down uh, whatever we have got in our equation. So we already have F of X as equal to A times. We don't know what base is, base to the power of X plus c we know is 2 for us, right? So this is what we have already got. Now, using these points, we can find the value of a and b. Let us substitute first 0 and 4, which is the y-intercept. That means that x equals to 0, f of x is 4. So we get 4 equals to a times b to the power of 0 plus 2. Anything to the power of 0 is always 1. So we have 4 and we can, let's write, is 1. So we can write this as a plus 2. And from here, we get a equals to 2. So the base of this function is 2. Now, since we know 2 as our base, we can now substitute this in our equation and find base b, right? So the vertical stretch is 2. So we have now the equation as a is 2. So we'll write 2 here b to the power of x plus 2, right? To find b, we can use the other point, which is 1 and 9. So 9 is equals to 2, b to the power of 1, x is 1 for us now, right? So we get this, so we get 9 minus 2 equals to 2b, or 7 divided by 2 is b. So b is 3.5. So we get all the values now we can write down our functions. We say f of x is equal to a is 2, right? So a is 2, b is 3.5, or you could write 7 over 2 to the power of x, okay, plus c, which is y equals to 2, we found, and we wrote c as 2 here, which is, this is the value of c. Two, right? So we get our equation, which is indeed f of x equals to 3.5. Let me write very clearly here. The equation for this function is f of x equals to 2 times 3.5 or 7 divided by 2 to the power of x plus 2, right? So that is how we can get equation of an exponential transformed function. So the key points we considered were horizontal asymptote, y-intercept, and any other good point. Better is to take x equals to 1 and figure it out. That should be 
good enough to find equation of an exponential function. Thank you and all the best.